hi everyone welcome to the session in this session i am continuing pycharts data interpretation first of all read the information carefully and then solve the questions according to the information you need to understand the information carefully see first of all the information is about distribution of candidates enrolled for mba and candidates who have successfully completed their course from different institutions see here there are two pie charts are given one is about how many candidates how many candidates are enrolled and uh, the second pie chart is showing that how many candidates are successfully completed their course second pie chart is about uh, how many candidates are successfully completed their course from various institutions here the various institutions are a b c d e f g these are the seven different institutions uh, and uh, first pie chart is about enrolled candidates second pie chart is about uh, total number of uh, successful candidates uh, who completed their course uh, in the respect to uh, institutions okay now if you observe carefully in the first pie chart uh, entire pie chart is 100 percentage that particular 100 percentage is equal to total number of enrolled candidates are 2500 therefore one percentage is equal to here two zeros two zeros will cancel one percentage is equal to 25 in first pie chart one percentage is equal to 25 whereas in second pie chart here also same thing 100 percentage entire 100 percentage is equal to 1900 then one percentage value one percentage is equal to 19 one percentage is equal to 19 in first pie chart one percentage is 25 in second pie chart one percentage is equal to 19 so based on that you can calculate whatever the value you want so uh, this is the complete information which is provided in this uh, pie chart let's see the first question what is the ratio of candidates uh, successful to enrolled from institutes b and d together b and uh, c together c Uh, successful first you need to write uh, b plus c successful b plus c successful is to b plus c enrolled that is the ratio we need to calculate that is the ratio we need to calculate b and c together b and c together successful second pie chart is showing about successful candidates 18 plus 12 18 plus 12 This is eighteen uh, plus twelve is thirty. Thirty percentage. We know that one percentage is equal to nineteen. Then thirty percentage is equal to thirteen to nineteen. This is uh, B and C together successful candidates. Whereas coming to enrolled candidates, B and C together. B and C together. It is having twenty two plus sixteen. Uh, twenty two plus sixteen, which is thirty eight, and. Uh, Here one percentage is equal to twenty five. Then thirty eight percentage becomes thirty eight into twenty five. Now you can calculate one by one. Nineteen ones are nineteen two times. Two ones are two fifteen. Five threes are five fives. Therefore the required ratio is three is to five. The required ratio is three is to five. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. let us look at the second question so what percent of candidates from institute d have come out to be successful out of the total candidates enrolled from this institute so first you can calculate what is institute d uh, enrolled and what is institute d uh, successfully completed here we need to calculate that particular percentage here one percentage value is equal to 25 then d is having 12 percentage 12 percentage is equal to 12 into 25 which is equal to how much here it is uh, 300 300 candidates are enrolled uh, from institute d whereas coming to uh, who are successfully completed their course from institute d that is 15 percentage one percentage is equal to 19 Then fifteen percentage is equal to what is the value? Nineteen into fifteen. Nineteen into fifteen. Calculate this value. 
19 into 15. 19 into 15 which is nothing but uh, 19 into 15 that is 285. Here total number of candidates uh, who are enrolled from Institute D 300 and total number of candidates who are successfully completed their course uh, that is 285 from Institute uh, D. So the question is uh, what percentage of the candidates uh, what percentage? Therefore, the required percentage is very simple. How many candidates have successfully completed their course? 285. Out of total, 300. As you are calculating the percentage, into 100 percentage symbol that is common. So, two zeros, two zeros, both are cancelled. And then, 285 divided by 3. 285 divided by 3, which is equal to. Here, you can cancel with uh, 3 table. 3 nines, uh, 27. Next, uh, 3 five, sir. So, 95 percentage of candidates. 95 percentage of candidates have successfully completed their course from Institute D. Guys, remember this particular, uh, uh, you know, this particular institute. Uh, institute D has 95 percentage of successful rating. Okay? 95 percentage. It may be useful in the coming problems. Okay? Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Next question. What is the percentage of uh, students uh, successful from institutes uh, E and F together over the students enrolled from these institutes together? E and F. Here we are taking E and F together. E and F together. Here one percentage is equal to 25. E and F together. 17 plus 8. 17 plus 8 which is equal to 25 percentage. That is equal to 25 into 25. 625. Total number of students who are enrolling from these two institutes together 625. Whereas coming to this second pie chart. One, per, one percentage is equal to 19. Why? Because entire 100 percentage is 1900. Obviously one percentage value become 19. Here E and F together. E and F together is having 16 plus 9. 16 plus 9 which is 25. That is also 25. 25 percentage is equal to how much? 25 into 19. Calculate this one. 25 into 19. 25 into 19. That will give you. If it is 20 times that is 500 less uh, 1 less uh, minus 25. That is 475. 475. Now. The question is, uh, this particular 475, what percentage of uh, 625? We need to calculate that particular percentage. Required percentage is equal to, the value 475 is what percentage of 625? And you are calculating the percentage into 100 percentage symbol is common. 25 19s and 25 25s. Again, 25 4 times. 19 into 4. 19 4 sir, 76. 76 percentage of students, uh, candidates are uh, successfully completed their course uh, from institutes uh, E and F together. 76 is the required answer. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Next question. What is the approximate percentage of students successful to enroll from institute A. Here it is one percentage value is equal to 25. Why? Because total 100 percentage is given as uh, 2500. From that one percentage value become 25. Here we are talking about institute A. Institute A enrolled candidates are 15 percentage. Then what is 15 percentage value? 15 into 25. Next. I am not going to calculate uh, this product uh, first. See, here it is uh, in the second pie chart, uh, one percentage is equal to 19. Why? Because entire pie chart is 100 percentage. That value is given as 1900. So, how many candidates are successful for one percentage? Uh, that is 19 candidates. Now, first, uh, Institute A. Institute A is having 17 percentage. 17 percentage is equal to how much? That is 17 into 19. 17 into 19. Now, 
you need to calculate uh, the percentage, approximate percentage of uh, how many members, how many candidates successfully completed that course. Uh, here, this value, 17 into 19, this value is what percentage of uh, 15 into 25. 15 into 25. As you are calculating the percentage, into 100 percentage symbol is common. 25, 4 times. Uh, and next, uh, what uh, we'll do is, uh, what we can do is, uh, here it is, uh, 4 1 sir, 4 4 sir, approximately. Let us take this one, denominator is 16, 4 4 sir. Now you can uh, multiply these two. Here, 323 divided by 4. 323 divided by 4, which is equal to 80 point something. 80 point, uh, 80 point something. Definitely, we will get the answer in the denominator as, uh, no, uh, here the value is uh, 80 point something. But if you observe carefully, initially denominator value is 15, but instead of taking 15, we are increasing the denominator value. We are increasing the denominator value to 16. If you are increasing the denominator value, we will get the value as uh, less than the original answer. Here, you are getting the answer as 80 point something, but actual answer is uh, greater than 80 point something and somewhat close to 80 point something. What is the value which is close to 80, sir? That is 83, 83 percentage. Guys, whenever you are solving the problems related to this model especially, when you are calculating the approximations, don't go with the exact values. If you want the exact value, you need to multiply these two first. 17 into 19, that is 323. After that, you need to multiply these two, which is 375. Here, this particular product is little bit of difficult as comparing with this one. So, always better to go with approximations instead of uh, exact values. Here, the approximate answer is uh, for Institute A, successful candidates uh, from Institute A, approximately 83, right? Next, uh, see, if you observe carefully, uh, previously we have done the similar kind of model. Which institute had the highest percentage of students successful to enrolled? See, it is very clear that uh, in the previous problems, we have done with uh, Institute D and we have done with Institute A. Institute A is approximately 83 percentage. And also we calculated Institute D in the previous slides. This, uh, see, look at this one. Institute D is percentage 95. Institute D percentage is uh, 95. We already calculated Institute D and Institute A is 83 approximately. So, this is 95 and uh, this one is 83. Now, no need of calculating again these two values. As he is asking about highest percentage, don't uh, take this value. Why? Because uh, we got D is equal to 95 percentage of uh, full. 95 percentage of students are successful among the enrolled candidates. Now you can calculate the remaining values. Here A is eliminated. As none of this is, none of this is there, that is the reason why you need to check it out each and every value. First of all, how can you calculate a successful percentage? Successful percentage is nothing but successful candidates divided by enrolled candidates into 100 percentage which will gives you the exact result but for d and a we already calculated d is equal to 95 a is 83 a is 83 percentage d is equal to 95 percentage now we will calculate the remaining b is equal to how much b is successful candidates 18 into 1 percentage value is 19. 18 into 19 divided by here B is equal to 22 into 25. Into 100 is common. Into 100 is common. And next uh, coming to C. C is equal to 12 into 19 divided by here the value of C. 16 into 25 into 100 percentage. D is already completed. Coming to E. 
e is equal to 9 into here it is 9 percentage 9 into 19 divided by here e is equal to 8 8 into 25 into 100 and next f f is equal to f is 16 percentage 16 percentage 16 into 19 divided by f is equal to in this case 17 here it is 17 into 25 and into 100 is common and at last g g is equal to 13 percentage 13 into 19 divided by here g is equal to 10 percentage only 10 into 25 into 100 is common into 100 is common now we will calculate one by one accordingly you will get the resultant answer see first one uh, we'll start with b uh, first b is not there in the options uh, you start with uh, uh, bottom onwards uh, 25 four times uh, and next uh, here you can multiply these four values uh, if you multiply those four values uh, 13 fours are 52 52 into 19 you will get 98.8 988 divided by 988 divided by 100 which sorry not 100 divided by 10 which is equal to which is equal to 98.8 here the value of g is equal to 98.8 percentage and next coming to f f is equal to here also you can cancel uh, this one you can cancel this uh, why because uh, here it is uh, four times each and every case you can cancel with four table here also you can cancel with four table here also you can cancel with the uh, four table right now uh, one more f is equal to cancellations are not possible here 16 16 if you take approximately this is a uh, 76 percentage but we are reducing the denominator value so this value is uh, less than 76 so this is not your answer and uh, D is also not your answer. Why? Because uh, D is 95 percentage, G is 98.8 percentage. So, F is not considered as one of the answer. And next coming to E. E is equal to, here you can cancel with uh, 4 table, 4 2 sir. 19 into 9. 19 into 9. That is uh, 171. 171 divided by 2. That is uh, 171 divided by 2, which is equal to 85.5. 85.5. E is equal to 85.5 percentage. So, you can eliminate option C and you can eliminate option A as well. Why? Because uh, as of now, among the given options, uh, G is equal to 98.8 percentage as of now. Still, we have to calculate B and C. See, uh, here it is uh, 4 1 sir, 4 4 sir. And next, uh, 4 3 times sir. 3 into 19, 57 percentage. C is equal to 57 percentage. Uh, no need of doing the calculation. And next, uh, here it is uh, 4 2 sir, uh, 2 2 sir, 2 11 times sir. And next, uh, you can multiply those values. Uh, 18 to uh, 36. 36 into 19. That is 684. 684 divided by 11. 684 divided by 11, which is equal to approximately, you will get it as 62 percentage. So, among the all values, among all the values, uh, G has the highest percentage of uh, students uh, successful to enrolled from institute g that is option d is the right answer for this question option d guys uh, in this way you need to calculate the answers uh, from this uh, pie chart and i i hope uh, each and every person understand uh, all the problems in this session thank you thanks for watching